Hey, I'm Sharon. Welcome to Readings, Pisces. Before we do your reading, blah, blah, blah. Before we do your reading, we're going to pull you a, a Moonology Oracle card. We're going to see what Spirit's got for you. Let's give them a, one cut. We're going to see what we have. A time for healing. The, the balsamic moon. The balsamic moon. A time for healing. Can you see it? Oh. Time for healing. What does it mean? Let's go to the book. Balsamic moon. Okay, let's see if we can find that. Let's see. Here it is. It's page 38. 38. 8 and 3 is 11. 38. A time for healing. Now, in order to read it, I've got to get me trusty magic wand. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past, and a bright future is beckoning. Mm, I can feel it too. However, oh geez, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. It's time to let go of the past. You're about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal and think about how this situation would look if everyone were healed. Well, I'll be damned. That's it's a good card. A time for healing the balsamic moon. We're going to go to the Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. We're going to do a reading for Pisces. Time for healing. Let's give him a break for two or three. Pisces. Pisces. Okay. Spirit. Yes, indeed you do. Let's go. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Pisces. Let's go. Who you who are you thinking about? Who are you all guarded up against? Could be Capricorn. Could be this guy. This girl. Come on now. You know how to swing them around? How to, how to make it resonate? In your story, just don't force it. Got my guard up against the devil here. Got my guard up. Shields up. Impenetrable. Impenetrable. Telling myself the truth about a situation, this person. Uh, this, this person didn't make me feel like I was walking through my... My beautiful garden. This person took my beautiful garden away from me. What is that beautiful garden? All of this. All of this. All of you. All of you. Mind. Looks. Spirit. 
heart, senses, everything took away the beauty that I was, a beautiful garden that I once was, telling myself the truth. There was no possibility. There was no miracle here. There was no possibility for this soulmate, but the star coming out in the reverse. There was absolutely no, pos no possibility here. But how is it that we can feel such great possibility, such great potential for a love? Let me back you up. Let me back you up a bit. How can we show, how can we feel such potential in, in, in a love and someone that we meet and, and feel such great, great things. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is the one. And then they come in and they, they raid our garden. And they pillage and destroy. There was no possibility here to begin with, with the star in the reverse. So what was it? What was it, Pisces? Keep going. This is an ending, and it was not easy. Oh, my God Almighty. You know, you were probably telling yourself some pretty bad things there for a while. With the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords following it. The Eight of Swords in the playing deck is... Deck is <laughs> I didn't say that word. And the playing deck is a devil. So now we got double devil on the board. First card was the devil. And now we got double devil. There's a painful ending. And not only just painful... But with the Eight of Swords falling at the Mind Tornado, the swirling of thoughts and emotions, swirling, swirling, swirling. One thought comes, can't be processed because it's gone and another thought, and another thought, and another thought, and another thought. The head just screaming. The spirit screaming, stop. But the mind fighting the spirit just over and over and over and over. The suffering here says it all. This is tower. This is beyond tower. This is like, if the tower comes out next, I'm folding these freaking cards. I mean, this is telling yourself crazy shit. Oh, why am I even alive? Why do we even bother to continue on living? Really? Really? For a double devil? Telling yourself the truth, somebody came in and they pillaged. This was not a soulmate. This was not my Ace of Cups. Why do I keep hanging on to it? Okay, so it is definitely a time for healing. There's no doubt whatsoever that Spirit picked the right card. It is a time for healing. The Ace of Cups. Upside down, pouring all the blessings and the love and the joy and the happiness into the ground. And but the four of pentacles hanging on to that, hanging on to the ending, but yet knowing, yet coming to realization and knowing. I got my walls up, I got my shields up. I mean, they did this and they did that, and holy crap, and, and look what they did to me. No, what I'm picking up here with the Ten and the Eight of Swords is maybe even getting friggin' friends and family involved. Maybe going to your family and telling them, oh, look what they did to me, you know. And the whole damn time, they were the bastard out or the bitch art out. But looking for the sympathy of others, the demon, double demon. But yet... I can't let go. Can't let go. Oh my God. Pisces, okay. Um, this is a terrible, terrible reading. We can only hope, Pisces, that you can that you can see past this. 
This is a Pisces in distress. This is a Pisces who just run out of ideas uh, about how to get this marriage back. Now, there's divorce here, there's separation. It could have been, if it's not marriage, it's a bond, this, this bond. But the bond wasn't even there to begin with. There's something else here that holds you imprisoned to this person. I'm running out of ideas with the Empress in the reverse. I've run out of ideas. I don't know what else to do. And, and so I just sit here in my Ten of Swords, in my Eight of Swords, in my Double freaking Demon. And my nine of wands, or is that the ten? And my ten of wands. This heavy, wearisome burden laid upon me. And, and I really do feel, because spirits tell me so strongly that there's something that may, maybe they have gone and pled their innocence to their family and to your family and pled their innocence to friends and made you out to be the bad guy or the bad girl, when all the time you're a victim. And now, not only are you a victim of them, but a victim of the others looking at you. Mm. How could you have done this to them? They're so nice. Bullshit. Bullshit. Live behind, live behind closed doors with them and tell me. Huh? Strength, Pisces. Strength. And you got to fight. You've got to fight. And, and with the Nine of Pentacles, strength, darling, coming, coming out here. Little Leo. Strength. Gird your loins. Gird your loins. Put on that breastplate. Put on your helmet. Put on your motorcycle boots. I'm going for a freaking ride. Yeah, I'm standing up. Don't make me freaking stand up. Pick up your freaking sword. It's time to fight back. Fight back for what? For your tickety-boo. Nine of Pentacles for your tickety-boo. It's time to fight for you. Five of Wands fight card for what? For your Nine of Pentacles. Because, wait, look. They came, they took my garden, they pillaged. They pillaged and destroyed. It's time to fight now. I'm taking my goddamn garden back. I'm fighting for my freaking garden. Getting my strength. It's time to fight back for my garden. Pisces. Going up in the head and talking to yourself and telling yourself, you know what? I don't care if a thousand come against me. I stand in my knowing. I stand in my truth, and with truth comes victory. I stand in my goddamn victory here. This person almost put me over the freaking edge. Ten and nine, of, ten and eight of swords. Painful, painful. They had me talking to myself into all kinds of crazy shit. They even took my mind, man. Time to gird my loins, get strength. Time to fight for my garden again. Time to fight for me. Time to go up into the attic and start cleaning out all this trash and rubbish that I've been fed. Let them come in hundreds. I got my sword. Let them come in hundreds. Let them come a thousand strong. Releasing the nightmare. <laughs> I need a DM. I am Pisces right there. Releasing the nightmare. I'm fighting for my garden. I'm releasing this damn nightmare. I'm going to look for me. I'm tickety boo. I'm, I'm going to take back my mind. I'm going to take back my, my flesh. I'm going to take back my heart. I'm going to take back my, my soul, my personality. I'm going to take back me. From Tower to Wish Fulfillment, Nine of Cups, Pisces. <laughs> I am Pisces. 
walking from the tower to my nine of cups, my wish fulfillment. I'm getting my garden back and more. Nine of cups, wish fulfilled, releasing, releasing the nightmare. Do not think again when you start to heal. A time for healing, the balsamic moon. There will be great healing, but don't, don't heal. Okay, spirit, all right. There is sometimes, Pisces, that you'll say to yourself, wow, you know, it's been like two or three months and I haven't thought about them hardly at all. And it's just like they're, they're gone. But Pisces, being intuitive and being an empath, being magical in their own, their own way, will say to themselves, I wonder, I wonder if I saw it back if I can still feel them. And so you search into your mind. Being the magi that you are, searching into your mind, searching around and swimming, swimming, searching. And then you lock on. They're there. Oh yeah, I can feel them. I know they're feeling me right now. I can feel them right now. In doing so, in doing so, this person can lock in on you too. And that can drag you back, back again to where you're always thinking about them. Do not search. I'm going to search, search and destroy. Don't search to find. Don't search to say, oh, I wonder if they're still thinking about me. I, I feel great. I feel wonderful. I, I, I come out of hell. I come out of double demon. And now I'm, I'm great. Got my garden back. I, I went from tower to my nine of cups. To my wish fulfillment. Do not start thinking again. Thought. And this is big thought. And the thing is, so oh, Pisces, is that you do have a connection with this person. It's not meant to be with the star in the reverse. It is not meant to be. But it is a connection. It's not meant to be a soulmate. And if it is, it's a different kind of soulmate. Somebody you should never have gotten really, really involved with. But if you start thinking again with the king air, you're going to fall on one knee again. Don't let this happen. Don't search. Don't. Because then you get thinking what? Use your intuition. You get thinking about how they refuse your cup. Or how you refuse their cup, how you've gone on. Use your intuition with the high priestess, the high priest coming out here. With the Scorpio card, but I'm afraid, I am afraid, Pisces. Now come on now, Pisces, you know, Pisces sometimes I'm feeling better. I wonder how they're doing. And before you know it, we're all wrapped up in that shit again. Use your intuition, kill this. Kill this. Death card. But the rebirth scares me. What is the rebirth? Don't think. Don't think back. Oh, gee, I, I wonder if I can still feel them. No. No. What the hell you want to feel them for? You're, you're doing better. Come on. This time for healing. Rebirth of Pisces. <laughs> Love it. Rebirth of Pisces. Yes. And the sun. Shit. All right. Good. Whew. Okay. Damn. I was afraid. I was afraid for you. 
Be careful going back in your mind, searching the deep in the recesses of the mind. Because as you know, the subconscious will hold everything forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. There's archives there that you don't want to bring back to life. Things in the childhood, things maybe in your past lives. There's archives that must remain dusty and dirty. Don't blow the dust off of this. Don't crack that friggin' book again. Keep going, okay? Use your intuition, kill it, destroy it. Keep going. You got your garden back, you're gonna get your garden back. You're doing good. Stay on course. Rebirth, rebirth of Pisces. Walking into the sun, right there, down in health, healing, well-being, all things. Listen, the star might be in the reverse. But the sun is straight up, and the sun is set in cement. It is strong. It is. Okay, spirit. Holy crap. All right, I'm exhausted. Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces. <laughs> Gemini, Aries. Sag, Leo. Demon. <laughs> I shouldn't say demon. I'm sorry. Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, you got a real friggin' bum card there, I'm telling you. Cancer. Aries again. Aquarius. Virgo. All signs on the board. Time for healing. If you like the way I read, please like, share. And subscribe. Namaste.